In many ways, plants act as chemical factories, using energy from sunlight to produce carbon-based energy and taking nutrients from the soil in order to synthesize a wide variety of products. Carnegie scientists, including Greg Asner, asked the question, how much does the portfolio of chemicals generated by plants vary, depending on the surrounding environment, and what can this tell us about how we interact with forests? The team focused their work in the western Amazon. They discovered that this region is an incredible patchwork mosaic of trees with chemical signatures organized into communities to maximize their growth potential given their local soils and elevation. Within these communities, the trees have evolved chemical portfolios that are different from one another, perhaps to help each species take a place in its community. They collected and analyzed foliage from 3,560 canopies throughout Peru. Forest canopies are notoriously difficult to study given the extreme difficulty of accessing them. Thousands of samples had to be collected from the upper limits of the canopy to ensure they all had equal exposure to sunlight and could thus be compared in terms of solar-driven chemical synthesis. This study is the scientific debut for Carnegie's Spectronomics Project, a field and laboratory-based effort to determine the relationship between function and biological diversity of plant species in tropical forests. Carnegie houses the world's first and largest library of dried and cryogenically frozen samples of tropical canopy trees, including millions of samples from more than 10,000 tropical trees and other life forms. The project's longtime coordinator, Dr. Robin Martin, describes how fascinating it is to roam the sample archive in the Spectronomics Library, whether online or with samples in hand. Not only do the study's findings help scientists better understand the tremendous diversity of the region, they also provide a new basis for understanding how climate change and human activities, like mining, cattle ranching, and agriculture, might affect forest function in this century. Asner explains the results as a wake-up call that we're shaking up a special tropical region full of chemically unique forest communities. Changes are already threatening whole patches in a kaleidoscopic quilt of chemical diversity that underpins these ecosystems. The work was published by Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences the week of March 3rd. With the independence for nimble pursuit, Carnegie scientists tackle some of the most profound challenges in modern science, fundamentally changing what's possible for us, our planet, and our universe.